can the water sit in the tray for too long and become too stale acidic? Um, by, I'm not sure you mean by tray, you mean water tank? Okay. Um, for water to change, something needs to happen to it, right? So if I take this, this bottle and I open it, it's now exposed to oxygen and it's going to aerate. So if I were to boil water, for example, and put it in here and cap it, uh, if I drank it right away, it would be a low oxygen water and it wouldn't taste very good. If I open it and let it sit for a couple hours, it would taste better. Um, the water that comes out of the tap, say, has chlorine in it and letting it sit in the water tank is going to cause it to outgas, lose its chlorine and taste better. Um, you'll notice that the, um, the top of the water tank is not covered hard. So let's assume you're not using chlorinated water, please. Uh, you're using just some sort of good water. The water in the D1 sitting in the tank is not gonna taste worse over time um, because it is exposed to oxygen. So it should stay oxygenated. One of the things we also do is we circulate a little bit. You know, when you start your espresso, stuff gets sucked in and sent back. Um, so um, it's possible a very small mosquito might get in there. That would be the only thing uh, I worry about um, if you're someplace where that, that can happen, you can um, buy the, the third party lid. But water sitting in the tank shouldn't become stale, right? So people talk about stale water in a traditional boiler machine and uh, with good reason. So there, there's, I think, two things going on with those boiler machines and stale water. Uh, one is the water goes in and then it's heated, right? And, and it's, it's quite full. Uh, and I think that that's just becoming deoxygenated water. So that, that's one issue. Um, the other is, is that water, when it's heated, gives up scale, which drops to the bottom of the boiler. If you then put fresh water into a boiler that's got a bunch of scale in there, uh, some of that scale is then going to go back into the water. And so you end up with uh, over-mineralized water with um, espresso machines. So the, the fact that we largely let the water sit and then we heat it on demand um, in a pressurized situation uh, means that the water should taste its best. Um, so I, I don't think we've got an issue there. Uh, one thing I will mention is in the latest firmware that's coming out in beta next week, the way that the refill kits work is changed a little bit to keep the water tank at an absolute minimum. Um, now, what I mean by that is, let's say you're making uh, a pour over and, and the water tank gets really low, uh, it's gonna, it now gets automatically refilled um, in little pulses so it can keep up with the recipe. And, and we now keep the, the water tank at that point quite low. That gives us less water to have to preheat um, and, um, and less noise. Um, so that should also give you water that's just freshly arrived in the tank uh, that way. And in general, I think we're gonna to try to move to a system where there's less water in the tank. You don't need to store as much um, that, um, and the water ends up being used much sooner. That, that's just um, a goal in the new approach. Now, those of you who don't have refill kits or catering kits, won't see a change, but if you do, you're, you're going to notice that you're going to be topping up your wire tank as you're making espresso. Mm -hmm.